The dinosaur actually listened to you. Thank you. She's a really smart girl. I just wish she'd listen to everything I tell her. Like when I say not to escape from your pen to go exploring. Again? Uh, I don't know why you think you can trust a dinosaur. And I don't know why you work here when you don't even like dinosaurs. Because I like people. And preventing them from being eaten. <coughs> also, the pain is good. It's just a gyrosphere, Genie. <coughs> She's never seen one before. She was just curious. Yeah, that's great. Can we go? Oh, of course. Sorry for the inconvenience. Please enjoy the rest of your day and... And they're rolling away. Genie, how many times do I have to tell you? You need to stay in your pen where it's safe. I know. You're a tough girl like me, but we gotta stick together. Are you okay? 
They're gone, girl. No one is going to hurt you now. It's safe, Jeannie. You can come out. How's she doing? Just a little shaken up. All she needs is some peace and quiet. What's up, everybody out there in the chat? I'm streaming to your light for the first day of my new year. Hey. This is a restricted area. No live streaming, hashtagging, or anything else you're likely to do. Who are you? And how did you get in here? Oh, don't worry. The chat's with us. Yeah, I'm Dr. Riley's computer intern, and this lab's new director of social media. Chad, I said we'd talk about that. How did someone like you get an internship here? Actually, Oscar, Chad's a real tech whiz. Yeah, when I was 15 years old, I invented an anti-theft cell phone app. Oh, really? What's it do? When the phone doesn't recognize someone's fingerprints, it overheats the battery. Oh, 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 hot, hot, hot. The app's called Red Hand. Download it for 99 cents. Oh my gosh, there are so many more types of dinosaurs here in the restricted area. Which doesn't seem very restricted today. Who are you? I'm Allison, your paleo-veterinary intern. It's so great to be working with you, Dr. Walker. I've read all of your papers. Thank you, that's so kind. Martin, I told you I don't have time for an intern. Give her a chance. She really knows her dinosaurs. Another one? What? What is this, a parade? Dr. Wu wants this new baby Ankylosaurus to be taken to the central lab for more testing. But my vehicle seems to have run out of gas. Oh, look! She's so cute! Is she a newborn? Interesting. She's asymmetrical. Yes. She was born at the lab earlier today with a group of kids from Camp Cretaceous Watching. And one of them named her Bumpy. Aww. Hello, baby Bumpy. Okay. This is all fascinating, but this is a high security zone. So you and Bumpy are gonna have to leave. I'll have someone drive you. Wow, is he always this much fun to be around? I'm security. Making new friends is not part of the job description. Although I think it's fair to say you enjoy that about your work, Oscar. Is that a troodon? It's my favorite theropod from the Cretaceous period, which is really saying something since you just gotta love the Sucumimus. Hey, nobody goes near the dinosaur except Kate. That thing is a vicious killer. That's why I'm stationed here, to protect you crazy people. Did that thing eat the last interns? Is that why there was an over- No, 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 no. She's never eaten anyone. But Oscar's right. She can be dangerous. Troodons are predators. The only reason I can get close is because I've spent years building trust with her. We work with Trollodons because they're the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. Even smarter than Velociraptors. And this one is especially smart, which is why we named her Genie. It's short for genius. Okay, Genie, it's time to accessorize. Come on, you're a pro at this. Hold still. That's not hurting me. It's transmitting Genie's brainwave pattern to this, the Dino Decoder. What the heck is a Dino Decoder? I'm glad you asked. Now you've done it. Here comes the slideshow. Science has identified distinct relationships between brainwave activity and emotional states. So we developed an electroencephalogram cap to scan dinosaur brainwaves and transmit them to the Dino Decoder. From its readouts, we're able to decipher the basic emotions the dinosaur is experiencing. Dr. Riley's device is an incredible advancement of science and technology. Well, I couldn't have done it without you by my side. I wouldn't want to do anything without you by my side. Oh, oh no, no, I mean, I mean in, a, in a research capacity. Not like, you know, I in a... <clears throat> you see, dinosaurs are not household pets. It's hard to get a fix on their emotional states, so the better we can understand their feelings and reactions, the better we can interact with them and care for them. In fact, Jurassic World's chief genetic engineer, Dr. Henry Wu, has encouraged us in this research. He spared no expense. 
So, is this like what that guy Owen is doing with those raptors? Cause I saw him say the dude who fell in their pen. Owen's awesome. Mr. Grady is working on behavioral training, whereas we're trying to decipher what's going on in the dinosaurs' heads. <laughs> so, what's going on in Jeannie's head right now? She seems a little nervous. Her head piece is transmitting. These readings are off the chart. Something's really scaring Jeannie. Uh, guys, we're getting a phase one real world alert. <laughs> oh, are you. The Indominus Rex has escaped its path? Oh, no. No, no, no. Anything but that. What's an Indominus Rex? I've never heard of that dinosaur. Because Jurassic World created it. It's a vicious hybrid Dr. Wu cooked up in his lab. We need to evacuate and get to a dinosaur security bunker. Okay, I'll get you. The whole point of a dinosaur security bunker is no dinosaurs. We all love Jeannie, but 
but she's gone. You have to accept that and move on. I just miss her so much. We all do, Kate. Hey, Allison, you want to be the first guest on my new podcast? Dinosaur Theme Park. What could go wrong? Chad, I'm trying to work, which is what you're supposed to be doing. We're lucky they let us keep our internships. This new gig is boring. I mean, we've been working on adapting the Dino Decoder to use on monkeys for three months now. <sighs> Snore! Yeah, I wish we could sew up with dinosaurs. I miss them. One of them tried to eat you. Okay, I, I don't miss all of them. Hey, Dr. R! You got it working! Um, uh, that shouldn't be flashing. The Dino Decoder! It's a readout. It must be... from Genie! How do you know? The decoder is calibrated specifically to her brainwaves. It only works with her. She's still alive! She got away from the Indominus Rex! That's awesome! Yes. Kate, you were right all along. You never gave up hope. Even though I specifically told you to. That's on me. I'm sorry. Wait, this reading isn't good. It's registering intense fear. Jeannie is really scared of something. Let me check the signal and make sure it's transmitting correctly. Oh, this is weird. This signal's not coming from Isla Nublar. Hmm. I'm tracing it to a location somewhere else. She's in the Atacama Desert? In Chile? Why would Jeannie be in Chile? Someone must have taken her there. And whatever they're up to is frightening her. Oh, Jeannie. I have to go help her. Kate! She's halfway around the world and you don't know what you'd be walking into. Martin, I abandoned her once. I'm not going to do it again. Kate, this is reckless and dangerous and there's no stopping you, is there? Nope. Then we're going together. Well, I mean, uh, not together together, but uh, you know. I'm coming too. Helping dinosaurs is why I wanted to be a paleo veterinarian in the first place. Count me in. Sounds like this has the makings of a sweet adventure and about six episodes of my podcast.
Well, my device appears to have not synced properly with the headgear the Trodon was wearing. With further testing, I should be able to... I need results now, Dr. Gordoff. Vic Hoskins, my former boss, died because he didn't know what was going on in a raptor's head. Now that I'm in charge, I won't let that happen to me. Uh, an understandable concern, Mr. Reed. But, but don't forget, Dr. Walker and Dr. Riley had years of trial and error to perfect their device. Well, then maybe I should go get them. I highly doubt they'd agree to come here. Who said they have to agree? You're talking about kidnapping them? Well, it's not like they're just going to show up here on their own. We're here. Jean must be around here somewhere. What's an InGen facility doing in the middle of the desert? I've always wanted to sneak into a secret military base. This is the best internship ever! Will you be quiet? Jeannie, are you in here? Oh, this! Ah! 
in with the Troodon and the Dino Decoder. For now, but I know where they're headed, and we are going after them. Back.